Via Bonales takes us to a farm that serves hearty snacks located at the heart of the metro. Hi, Pia. Hi, Claire. I'm dying to find out just what ostrich meat tastes like. And here at Ostrich Farm, they have different dishes to showcase just that. With me is Chef Jean-Pierre Montenegro to tell us all about their restaurant. Good morning, Chef. Hello, good morning. First of all, it's called Ostrich Farm. So yes. is there a real, actual ostrich farm? Yes, we here? have uh, an ostrich farm in Cotobato in Mindanao. So, yeah. How long has the farm been around? Uh, since 2000, I think. 2000, mm -hmm. 2002. Okay, yeah. and then from there, you decided to make a real restaurant out of yes. like the ostrich how did how do you compare ostrich because it's not the usual thing that us Filipinos yeah. are used to how do you compare it is it comparable to like chicken or turkey uh, it's more comparable to to beef mm -hmm. uh, looks like beef uh, and similar taste to beef also okay yeah. it's, it's red meat chef. Ah, yes. all right. Because if you, I, I'd always, I've always thought that if it was an ostrich, it would be like more of the white meat, more of like you know, parang magic chicken. Yes, uh, so it's more. So how, parang compared to beef, like, ano, same ba na parang medyo, you know, beef has like uh, you have to cook it well para talagang sakto yung pagkabait mo, kasi otherwise it becomes rubbery, yeah. as, like that uh, as well. Ostrich is uh, easy to cook uh, for a while lang siya niluluto. Not like beef na ibebang parts, kasi mm -hmm. some are tough, some are ano. This one is all the same. So it's very tender. Uh, kinda tender, yeah. Well, it's in the middle. Okay. Well, I, I think it's better for me to just really taste it so that we could know what chef is talking about. It's interesting how you have like, aside from the burgers, you also have like Filipino dishes yes. out of the ostrich. Yes. Can you tell me what you have right uh, here? The first one is um, ostrich teriyaki. Okay. Yeah, And then the second is uh, ostrich salpicao. Ooh, all right. Because these are both from like, a lot of people would yes. love salpicao. And then, well, me, I'm going for the teriyaki because I love how it's really, it's, you could see all the sauce on top of that. For something like this, okay, you look at the turkey. Ito na yun, malamang, but you look, it really does look like beef to me. And even the consistency is much like beef. I'm not, ah, there you go. Yeah, yeah it is a bit sweeter. And it's very surprising. I didn't expect that to yun nga. Talagang, it's very, very similar to beef. And it would be nice to pair it with rice and yeah. You know, and a nice, um, nice, generous serving of salad on the side. But you also have different kinds of burger. Can you tell me the burgers that you have, Chef? Uh, the first burger we have is, we call it a macho burger, macho ostrich burger. So it has uh, the, the plain um, ostrich patty, and then we top it with um, ostrich chili. Okay. So it's, it's ostrich also. Ostrich chili? Chili con carne. Same. Oh, okay. But, but we use um, ostrich meat. Interesting. So is this your best seller? Uh, yes. And you could see like it's really like ostrich over ostrich right there. Yes. It's a huge, huge burger. I asked them to cut it already so you guys could have a look. And of course, so I could make it have a taste. And you could see the chili, the chili really just dripping from the side. This is really, really good. Can we talk about the health benefits? Because when you say beef, that's something that a lot of people would veer away from. Because, yes. you know, a lot of people are watching their yeah. cholesterol. How about for turkey? Uh, ostrich is uh, low in calorie, low in fat, and mm -hmm. low in um, cholesterol. Mm -hmm. So it's almost the same as protein percentage as chicken and beef. But so. healthier for those who are yes. really watching their weight. I love how this tastes. It's like what you mentioned. It's like a little bit sweeter. Yeah. It's really kind of like beef. But sometimes what I don't like about beef, it gets a little bit hard for me to take in yeah. because it can be a little bit tough and then yes. the flavor comes out too strong. This one is just a perfect kind of sweetness. It kind of reminds me like a chicken or a turkey burger, pero it's kind of confusing because it reminds me of chicken turkey burger because of it's medyo may pagka light. Yeah. But then the flavor is as full yeah. as what you could get from a burger. Like if you a, didn't know, you won't notice. Exactly, yeah. exactly. This one is really yummy. What are the other burgers that you have? Uh, this one is um, ostrich mushroom melt. Mm -hmm. So cheese and mushroom. And then this one is the plain uh, burger. 
uh, plain with cheese, plain, and then um, ostrich joe. Ostrich joe? What's yeah. in an ostrich uh, joe? It's, it's like a chili con, but uh, different um, seasonings. Ah, that's so, very, very interesting. Okay, so for like a turkey burger, can you give me like a rough price range? How much for, from the cheapest to the more expensive ones? Uh, the cheapest, if, of course, the plain one yes. and then with the cheese. Uh, it's not much of a difference from the prices. Let's okay. say 10 to 20 pesos long in each category. And you can see you have a lot of ostrich burgers to choose from right here. And you also have desserts. Can you tell me quickly about the desserts that you have? Uh, the desserts we have is oatmeal chocolate chip and then the decadent brownies. Wow, and that's a so. perfect way to just end your ostrich adventure. Thank you so much, Thank Chef. You. There you have it, Claire and Hillary. I'm just really dying to eat more of this burger. This is a perfect kind of thing for those of you who are trying to lose your weight and you still want all that flavor of the burger only here at the Ostrich Farm. Back to you, Claire and Hillary. A very interesting morning for you, Pia. Thanks.